My next guest, Dr. Yvette Lozano, says the State Pharmacy Board is requiring her to reveal patients' medical diagnoses, diagnoses in order to obtain the drug. Dr. Lozano joins me now. And uh, Dr. Lozano, you're in Texas. Isn't that a violation of privacy that you're being questioned as a physician in that manner? Absolutely. And this is what um, was very alarming to me uh, when I wrote a prescription and had the pharmacist call me and let me know that he could not fill that without me disclosing the diagnosis of the patient. And uh, so we had a little scuffle on the phone and I told him that I couldn't do that because of HIPAA laws. And he was insistent that the laws had been changed and the pharmacy board had uh, passed a mandate that that drug could not be dispensed unless it was accompanied by a diagnosis. Uh, CVS Pharmacy released a statement to the Ingram Angle tonight. Uh, we'll pu put that up in a second. Um, here's what it says. We balance the off-label use of certain prescription medications to treat COVID-19 pneumonia and ongoing needs of patients who are prescribed these drugs. Our pharmacy is making dispensing decisions to help ensure there's adequate supply of medication to meet patient needs while complying with all applicable regulations. Well, a dear friend of mine just told me, Dr. Lozano, that she was called by the pharmacist and was interrogating her, and this was a CVS pharmacist, interrogating her over a prescription she wrote for hydroxychloroquine for one of her patients. And she's like, what are you, what are you talking about? And they were insistent. And she ultimately finally got it, but not without the, you know, the hassle that, again, it's curious given your own experience with this drug. So it's been an extremely difficult situation for me in the last couple of days. So yesterday I wrote five prescriptions for hydroxychloroquine and I sent them to a pharmacy that I used and have used for the last 20 years. And I actually got a phone call from the pharmacist letting me know that she was not going to refill another prescription for me for hydroxychloroquine. Uh, uh, and so I told her that she couldn't do that, that these patients were sick and that if I, the, if I read the prescription, she needed to fill these. And she told me that she was not going to fill another prescription for me. And so I said, well, I need your name and I'm going to call the pharmacy board. And she said, I have the right to deny to fill this prescription for you. And so I asked her, I said, are you, are you out? Do you not have any? And she told me that she had 100 pills in the pharmacy. And I told her, I said, let's just order some more. You can overnight this medication. Like five cents she, a pill. It's like five, 10 said, cents a pill. It's like, it costs nothing. So the prescription cost $13. And I had so many very, very sick patients in the office. And so now, I today was horrible because I, I treated 15 people that needed 15 prescriptions, could not go there, had to squirm all over Dallas to try to get these right. prescriptions. In fact, and Dr. I'm Lozano, really, really quickly, do you find good results giving hydroxychloroquine to mild to moderate patients? Do you find good results? I have severe patients in the office. I have patients that have been diagnosed with pneumonia and been turned away from clinics. I've got patients that have been turned away from hospitals. I've got patients coming in with temperatures of 102.9 white blood cell counts of 17,000, all positive COVID tests. Their physicians are refusing to give them medication for fear that they are gonna be in trouble with the licensing board. And now the, uh, the issue we have now is now I've got pharmacists that are refusing to fill this medication. And so this is critical now. I have a huge problem on my hand. I, I, I have patients that are coming in from Austin, Houston, San Antonio. These are not this my is patients. Ridiculous. Yeah, this, this is, is but but, you're, but just back to the question really quickly, it's working in patients that you've treated that you've been able to prescribe it to, correct? Every, every patient that I've treated, serious, moderate, has had resolution of symptoms within 24 hours. They are improved within five hours. Um, the fevers are gone within two days. The lung the lung restriction, which is the most important, mm -hmm. resolves within about four to five hours. You see dramatic improvement. It's, it's incredible. I, I'm surprised myself. Dr. Lozano, I, I hope the FDA is watching this. People's lives are on the line because of these restrictions or these warnings, I should say, because it's trickling I, down to the pharmacies and the pharmacies board. You educated a lot of people with your, this segment tonight. Thank you for explaining it to us. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much.